Four rather creepy titles delivered to your door. What's inside the newest horror pack subscription service? Long-time viewers of this channel will know I'm a big fan of horror movies, love to watch a good horror movie every single week if I could, and I love the idea also of having horror titles delivered to my door every single month. Now, before you think to yourself, how come nobody has come up with the idea of delivering horror movies to people's doorsteps? Well, I hate to break that to you if this was an idea that you were fleshing out, perhaps going to be taking to Shark Tank. Horror Pack has beat you to the punch. Horror Pack every single month delivers just that. Not one, not two, not three, but four horror titles they delivered right to your door every single month, either in the DVD format or in the Blu-ray format. Horror Pack still delivers horror titles right to your door, a random selection of four titles. We're going to go ahead and get this opened up, and if perhaps you fancy the idea of getting said titles to your door as well, you can most definitely click the link down below in the video description. Now I'm going to reach off camera and grab what I always seem to grab at the beginning of this review. Short of growing my nails really, really long and really, really sharp, which would be very difficult then to put sweaters and socks on. I rely then on the reliable good old knife of mine. This is Chet Cuttington III, gifted by me by producer Tony, who's currently sleeping right now, so I'm paying attention. We're going to go ahead and cut the box, the bag at the top there, sort of like a little body bag for the horror titles going to be inside. And as we normally do, I like to pull out one title at a time, fish it out from the plastic prison, examine it, discuss it, digest it, move on. And if any of you have seen perhaps the titles inside this month's outing of the Horror Pack, let me know down below in the comments section what you guys think of those particular films. The first one we're going to be looking at is Insidious from the makers of Paranormal Activity and the director of James, from dir director James Wan and writer Leah Wannell. I think it's Wannell or is it Wannell? James Wan also, I believe, did Aquaman as well. This one is Insidious. Now, I've actually had a couple of titles of Insidious. I already have a couple of these in my collection. I don't remember this one specifically, where the child is all done in red. I don't think it's specifically anything exclusive. In fact, the exclusives consist of Horror 101, the exclusive seminar, on set with Insidious and Insidious Entities. The read-up says, for anyone who's not familiar with the title or the franchise, from the makers of Paranormal Activity, Insidious is the terrifying story of a family who, shortly after moving, discovers that dark spirits have possessed their home and that their son is inexplicably fallen into a coma. Trying to escape the haunting and save their son, they move again only to realize that it's not their house that was haunted. Dot, dot, dot. I'm sure you know where that's going. Uh, this one was released a, a while ago, actually. I'm trying to think of where the where is the release date on this. It's 102 minutes, I can tell you that. It is 2011. Really? It's 2011? That's nine years ago. Uh, Insidious, I think, has spawned three titles, three movies, I believe, with a fourth on its way. I think that's correct. And I think they had planned as well an Insidious and uh, Conjuring a connection, like where you're going to have the two of them, like a crossover. Although it's interesting because there's an actor, Patrick Wilson, that happens to be in both movies. So I'm not really sure how they would explain that. But I would love the idea of finally connecting the Insidious storyline with the Conjuring storyline. Uh, it does make perfect sense, but again, I don't know how they would explain the Patrick Wilson being in both of them, unless he has a twin brother. Oh, probably isn't going to work. Now, the ages and time frames of when that takes place, it just wouldn't make any sense. The next title we have inside is a double feature. So in actual fact, we didn't get not four titles in this month's outing. We actually did get ourselves five. We have the unrated version of Priest. Now, I have Priest, but I don't believe I have an unrated version of it. And there's also Legion as well. Legion, I don't believe I've ever seen. I've seen a Priest. I saw that in the theater. A uh, priest says, in a post-apocalyptic world, a savage war between a man and a vampire has raged for centuries. A warrior priest, played by Paul, Paul Bethany, of course many of us know as Vision from the Marvel films, receives word of fresh attacks, but now it's personal. His niece has been kidnapped by a new hive of merciless vampires. To save her, he must break his vow of peace and hunt down the hive before it's too late. Based on the acclaimed graphic novel and packed with bloodthirsty action, this full-throttle crusade takes you on a hunt for a deadly new breed of killer. This was released in 2011. 
which I guess makes sense because when I did see in theater would have been around the 2000 time frame, 2011 time frame. For Legion, it says at a remote truck, a desert truck stop, the fate of the world will be decided. Evil armies are are amassing, armed, and united by the archangel Michael, played by Paul Bethany. Again, is in this. A group of strangers becomes unwitting soldiers in the front lines of the apocalypse. Their mission to protect a waitress and her sacred unborn child from the relentless blood siege of the demonic legion. Also starring Dennis Qua uh, Quaid of G.I. Joe. It's interesting that of all the things and acolytes that Dennis Quaid has done, they felt the need to put G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra. Hmm. I don't know if I would have actually... I don't know if I would have actually put Dennis Quaid's film titles with G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra being first. Nonetheless, it also stars Tyrese Gibson of Transformers and Lucas Black of Jarhead. Uh, released again. This one was released in 2010. So really, they actually should have called this two-pack release the Paul Bethany two-pack. Which is, he? it's him right down. And you know what, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I have seen Legion. I've seen both of these titles. Not smushed and and squished together to make this ball Paul Bethany sandwich, but certainly I have seen the titles individually. I rented this one and I saw this one in the theater. So I get a nice double pack. That's pretty cool. Let's see what else we have going on inside. The next one we have is Cruel Will. Oh, this looks brutal. This is the Horror Pack Limited Edition Blu ray. Stars Aaron Kinzer, Marissa Pistone, uh, Spencer Garrett. Harry Lennox, and Doug Jones. Doug Jones, I'm sure, is playing a creature. He's probably not just playing like a regular human. Read up on the back. says, Tragedy strikes a married couple, Lily and Paul, when their brother dies. Lily uh, brings home the urn, housing her father's cremated remains, forcing Paul to, on a daily basis, face his despised brother-in-law. Soon after, the lid of the urn is mysteriously urn mysteriously disappears, and Paul begins to experience unearthly events, like a twisted joke only he can see. That seems interesting enough. I don't know if I, the cruel will, I mean, the cover looks like it's one of those torture horror films. And yet, looking at the back and based on the read-up, it seems actually like it's a pretty decent looking horror film. I'm going to have to give that a watch. It was released in 2013 with a running time. Mark this down at 85 minutes. No, you don't have to really mark it down. And last, but certainly not least, The Belco Experiment. Just recently picked this one up, uh, I want to say a couple of weeks ago. I love this movie. Office Space meets Battle Royale. I just recently, just last night actually, finally got a chance to watch The Hunt. And I did say after watching The Hunt, loving the film, it reminded me of The Belko Experiment. And funny enough, here we go. But presented by The Belko Experiment. The read-up on the back says, Welcome to Belko Industries. A normally calm workplace that's about to de-evolve into a blood-soaked battle royal and its shocking case study of bone-crunching horror when 80 American employees are suddenly locked in their office building in Bogota, Colombia. A mysterious voice on the intercom orders them to participate in a ruthless game of kill or be killed. As the terror escalates, so does the body count. Now everybody is a competitor, and everyday objects becomes deadly weapons. Let the corporate carnage commence. Great film, if you guys have never seen this film. It, special features include rules of the game, the secrets of behind the Belka experiment. Uh, also, there's Lee Hardcastle's surviving tips and deleted scenes in gallery. Release date on this is 2017. A runtime of, I don't see a runtime, oh, there it is, right there. 89 minutes, 2017, 89 minutes. Very cool. Even though I already have, actually, I do have a couple of these titles already, Insidious. I don't have the Double Pack, I have the Belko Experiment, and I don't have Cruel Will. Sort of eliminates the idea of what I'm going to be probably watching tonight. I'm probably going to be moving towards the idea of Cruel Will. The covering, I feel, looks a little... Doesn't look the most polished, but certainly looking forward to checking this one out. Doug Jones, I'm sure, I'm calling it right now, is probably going to be a creature inside. But it's certainly, if you guys are, let's quickly look through the now five titles we had gotten instead of the four. Cruel Will, The Belco Experiment, love this film. Priest and Legion, or the Bell Paul Bethany Collection. And we started that with All Insidious. 
Again, if you guys love to get horror titles delivered to your door and didn't think such a thing exists, let this be the proof in the pudding. It does exist, my friends, and you can most definitely have that happen by subscribing to the Horror Pack. You can choose either DVD or Blu-ray, or you can actually get both. And sometimes there's the benefit going that route as well, because there are DVD titles that have yet to make their rounds as Blu-ray releases. So you might actually get yourself some rare things that have never come out on Blu-ray. If you also are liking the content that you're seeing down below, or down here in this video, consider down below hitting that subscribe button down below, turning the bell notification on, and staying tuned, because there's going to be a lot of videos coming your way. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.